Hi, it's Lindsay here, the Queen of Easy Green. Um, today I want to show you how you can declutter your home, but do it the green way. Um, we all know that living in a clutter-free house is, and, and garden is good for our living environment, but did you know it's actually good for your mental well-being too? Well, today I'm going to show you how you can declutter your house, but do it using the reduce, reuse and recycle, the three R's. Right, so here we are. This is how we're going to do our decluttering the easy green way. I've got Jason here, who's my um, guinea pig for this experiment. And Jason, I want to go through each of the piles here and I want you to tell me what they are. So first of all, we've got the reduced pile. What we've got in here? Yeah, well I'm, I'm terrible for buying far more plumbing parts than that's you need for any, uh, for any job. So in this pile, these are items that I'm, I do normally rebuy because I don't actually know that I actually have them. Okay, so what you're saying, everything here, you could actually use again for the original purpose, yeah. but you've gone out and, and mistakenly bought them twice. And these are very common parts that I'd use on any sort of plumbing job. Okay, so, um, right, a simple way to make sure we reduce what we keep bringing into our homes is to make a note. Now, um, if you've got a smartphone, what you can do, you can literally put everything you've got on here. So Jay would simply put in copper push it um, push fit plumbing piece. So the next time he was out at the hardware store, he knew for sure he'd got this. If you haven't got a smartphone, just write it on a piece of paper. Make it small enough for a credit card, then you can pop it in your wallet. So this is the reduced pile. So this is stuff that we're going to hopefully make sure that we use again and not rebuy. That's right. Okay, so the next pile, this is our reuse pile. What have yeah. we got in here? These are items, uh, the bulkier plumbing items maybe, that uh, I can reuse some of the parts again. Uh, that the, the original job's been done, but some of the components can be reused elsewhere. Okay, so what you're saying is actually some of the parts out of this um, packaging have been taken out, so you can't use it for its original purpose. That's right. But you can use certain parts yeah. for other jobs. Yeah. Okay, so this is our reuse pile. So this is when you've got something in the home that you can't use it for its original purpose, or you've already used one of it for its original purpose, so you potentially could reuse it for something else. So finally, this is our recycle pile. Now, I noticed, Jason, that you've split this into two piles, so what we've got here? Yeah, some of these parts can be actually be resold. They're still in the original packaging. Okay. Um, but because of the amount of time that's elapsed, I can't take them back to the retailer. So they're still in the original packaging, so I can actually sell those. Uh, either at a car boot sale or via eBay. Okay, so we've, we've got in our recycle pile a resell pile. So still in its packaging. So actually that is completely fit for purpose for yeah. somebody who needs it. So we say eBay or um, put it in a car boot sale. Yeah. Okay, so we've got a couple of bits here, certain plumbing parts. Is that back of a washing that's machine a washing pipe? Machine hose, yeah. Oh, well, you know, that's definitely a, a thing that people would be looking for. And um, what we've got over there, Jay, what's that you can show us? Um, these things are things that I can't, um, that need to go to the This is a broken drill okay. that's going to cost more to fix than it is to use again. So right. it, it needs to go for recycling now. Okay, so you're obviously not going to put this in your domestic waste. Where no, are you this will go this? down to our uh, domestic recycling plant where they take electrical appliances and that will be recycled properly. The copper coils will be refurbished. And, uh, okay, so they could actually take parts out of this and use them for something yeah. else? Okay, so um, this is just a, a general um, recycling plant that most people have near them? Yeah, the, the local authority recycling plants in uh, if it, there's one close to everybody. Okay, and what's the other part? The other bit, uh, I mean this was a faulty component but obviously if I take that down to my local recycling plant, they'll make proper use of the metal uh, and it'll be recycled properly. Excellent. So we've got our reduced pile, we've got our reused pile, and then we've got our recycling pile. Well, actually, with some of the recycling, we're going to make money back off. So this is how it does the full circle back again. So if you want to try decluttering your home and doing it the easy green way, rather than uh, love it, lose it, or use it, why don't you try reduce, reuse, recycle and see if you can save yourself a bit of money and also be um, good for the environment too.